The other weld head that we're going to show you today is a Model 81C compact pipe welder that features an inch and three quarter radio clearances. It's obviously designed for extremely low radio clearances, applications like uh, uh, fossil fuel power plants, pennant tubes, or uh, onboard ships. The Model 81C weld head is a compact, low profile welder. As we said before, it features an inch and three quarter radio clearance. The inch and three quarter radio clearance will go from 1.9 inch OD pipes and tubes on up to a uh, five inch pipe, which is five and a half inch OD. The nice thing about the Model 81 is that it features a water cooled body, which allows us to keep the motors and the mechanisms cool on up to 500 degree preheated pipes. This comes in really handy for things like chrome mollies and fossil fuel boilers and things like that. The other really nice feature about the Model 81 is its quick mount and dismount feature. As you can see here, the guide ring is an integral part of the weld head once it's mounted onto it. The guide ring is fixed to the weld head and once you set this uh, weld head up for a specific size, it stays on the weld head and the, guide and the complete mechanism or assembly stays assembled and ready to weld for that pipe size. There's a lot of different uh, mechanisms on this weld head contained in this small housing here. Your oscillator functions or your tor uh, torch cross seam functions occur in here. Your arc voltage control is controlled right from the weld head. And you have a built-in wire feeder and a wire feeder mechanism. Now mounting the weld head is a simple operation. You simply open the weld head, release all the clutches, slip the guide ring through, wrap the weld head as you do so, bring the weld head around, clip it shut, move it into position, and fasten the guide ring. Now that we've placed the weld head on the pipe, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a few of the adjustments that the operator will typically go through before you actually start welding a pipe or a specific joint. The first thing that you need to do is remember that the light emissions that come off in an automatic welding equipment are very similar to the light emissions that come off a standard torch. It's very important to remember at all times that your operators need to wear adequate eye protection. The first thing that the operator needs to do once the weld head is mounted is ensure that the weld head is mounted in the weld center line position. In other words, that the oscillator is in its center position and the electrode actually reaches the center line of the weld. Now, if it needs slight correction, you can either do that electrically or additionally, we have a manual control for the override here to offset the center position just slightly. It gives you a little bit of extended stroke. Okay, once that's completed, typically an operator will check the wire feed alignment. And typically in a Model 81 weld like this, you'd want the electrode or the wire directly underneath the electrode and spaced at the correct distance. Normally what we do is we use an Allen wrench to set that adjustment or that, that particular relationship. We'll just set it right in here. Once we have that adjustment, which we do now, we're set. Now, in this case, what we want is the electrode or the wire to be directly under the electrode. And we have that adjustment right here. Now, this adjustment isn't necessarily necessary to make each and every time you actually weld. You probably only have to do it once. And what we have to do under typic or typically what we have to do under low radio clearance conditions is pre-wrap the cable so that the cable as the, as the weld head is rotating doesn't get caught between the tubes and the, and the weld head and cause the weld head to jam. Now in order to do that, you can either drive it around under uh, motor control or there's a clutch on the Model 81 that the operator can push and simply rotate the weld head around the pipe. Once these adjustments are made, we're ready to weld.